like Adamus, again, I was talking to myself and I went through some of the steps. Okay, we're doing we're doing bottom of the doors. We're saving on the bottom of the doors, continuing the saving the saving front forerunner or saving on the forerunner mission. Okay, again, you have the elbow pad goes right over here. Okay? Super easy, watch this. Get yourself a panel popper. Like that, you got the two clips, make sure they are on it, they don't stay in there. And you have a Phillips chrome-like looking screw here. Then with the hook tool like this, a small guy like that, get in behind here top rear corner and try to pry this away towards you just go around don't break it pull this off and there's another black Phillips screw behind this now we're gonna try and pop this thing off I hope that's only the two screws that are holding the, this this uh, door skin or door cover, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to try and, uh, this may be difficult, especially if this was never taken off, I see no screws, once you get one, come on, man, don't think there's any more screws. But I could be wrong. There's sometimes screws behind the window buttons here. And I never done the rear, I did the front other side. That was it. It's gotta pop off. Yep. Yep, okay. Let me bring you in. It's probably better if the window is open. Alright, so pop the window open. Just be patient. You gotta be patient doing stuff like this. Because you don't want to break stuff. Okay, so first, first we're gonna disconnect the light here I can actually see the plug through here that's one then you have the top cable lines here oh, come on for the handles the green goes on the bottom the white is on top one is the lock button oh, get off now and the other, one, the other one is the handle. And this is pretty self-explanatory, guys. Just gotta pop the ball out. And then we have the window button harness. So the door skin. So, oh yeah, make sure all of these clips stay on the, on the panel. That none of them stay on the door. So double check, like, looks like, okay, the blue one here. So we gotta remove that and put it back on the door. And this actually happened to me on the front door. You gotta be super careful not to break this. These white ones seem to pop out, stay on the, on the panel, but these blue ones tend to stay on the actual door. Now I'm gonna remove the harness for the speaker. Now we're gonna close the window so we have access to the bottom of the door. The bottom portion of it broke. The top part is fine, so we're gonna pop that back on the on the door. It'll be fine. I'm gonna remove the speaker. It's kind of glued. Three ten mil bolts only. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. And this is always oh, nothing. And now we have a nice visual 
on the bottom of the door. Now, without breaking the foil, ripping the foil apart, yeah, the older the, your vehicle, the easier this will be. If not, then what you want to do is you want to pull on, pull on the foil a little bit and start cutting the black stuff, the black gooey stuff. Okay. And now we're going to close the window. Controls from the driver's door will not work. You need to plug in the button. Okay. It's actually not too bad in here. I'm going to get you in here in a moment. Okay, so maybe you can see. I don't think the, the black stuff is dirt. Maybe too much light. The, the, on the very bottom you know this stuff it feels like some kind of factory protection spray that's just dirty or the actual fluid film or you know some kind of wax it's just you know dirt got stuck to it over time it's what happens but it was much worse in the front door I'm gonna get to that, I'm gonna do the front door as well. But we're gonna clean that out. Not not all of it, just scrape off the, the dirt and spray the wax thing. Okay, if you're gonna use like a you know something metal like a flat screwdriver or, or whatever metal, make sure you don't scrape too hard. Don't press on it too hard. You don't wanna take some of the paint off because it's gonna rust. Just carefully, lightly scraping, letting loose uh, all the dirt, dust, and stuff that accumulated during the 15 years. You can actually see the <laughs> to the bottom hole there, the dirt falling down all the way from corner to corner. Because usually we, it's this corner right here that will rust. Okay, I do gotta say the rear door is much cleaner than the front. We'll see if, if it's gonna be the same on the driver's side, I did the passenger side. Alright, so now spray away. All the way. Spray away, spray away. Okay, don't be shy. Nice. Right here, this is what you want. Check that out. And I did it all the way. Right about to here. So that's it. I'm gonna wait for it to dry for a little bit. Wipe the bottom off. And put it all back together. And we're gonna replace this seal. But that's gonna be a different, different episode. One tip guys, whenever you're ready, you got everything plugged in, you know, check your work, if everything works before you pop it in, check the window, not much to check here, but make sure the top part is all the way down, okay, don't force anything, that's the last thing you want to do, once this kind of feels like it's going to go in, make sure the clips line up okay on all sides and then just start popping them in there should be no gap all around well you are going to have a little gap 
from where you pulled before. There's just no way around it. It's just the reality. Let check my work one last time. Window all the way up. Window all the way down. Make sure nothing is catching it and whatnot. Actually, I'm gonna just check the door. Opens, locks, and opens from the inside. We are Gucci. Up in the two screws, this little cover. And now we're gonna wipe up the bottom. And we're gonna move to the front. All right, we continue with the front driver's side. Same exact story. Pop this open. Seems like the bottom rear corner of this plastic always wants to come out. And then just going forward, pulling on it. And then, where's, there it is. The two Phillips screws. You know, I bet you it was the broken up window seals on this car that uh, are causing all the dirt to come in from the outside to the bottom of the door. All right, there is a push, push pin sort of deal. And these you wanna, it's like this, you wanna push this in and then pull it out and then when you are ready to put it back in pull this out push it in and then push the little guy in all right now it's time to pull on this again this is never easy Was a clip. Oh yeah, it's a good idea to pop this off too, the little triangle. Easy, one little clip. Okay, again, green on the bottom, white on top, two plugs on the window, and lock the uh, controls and the little light here so we gotta deal with the window controls what is going on what's in there it's a dime all right i actually cannot see how this another one That's a, that's a penny. From 2018. Yeah. How the hell did they do this? Oh, it's on the side. It's just great. In between the panel and the plug is the push, push thing. There we go. Kind of stupid if you ask me, but okay. See the blue one, the blue one stayed and one, one white one popped off. I'm gonna take the blue one out and break it again. Ha! Whoop! Well, where did you go? My lovely. We got a missing clip. That's just great. It came out perfectly and now it's missing. <sighs> Man. Oh. <laughs> Are you seeing this? It's right here. In a very convenient spot for me to find. Right, those are back on. I'm gonna remove the speaker. Again, this is just I mean, yeah. Okay, so now see this one is stuck. Or it's doing what it's supposed to. 
So we're gonna pull on it a little bit. I don't wanna stretch it in the foil. And then just gonna cut the glue, not the foil. Cut the glue. Sometimes the glue comes with the foil. You know, a sharp knife would be also useful. This one is so dull, it's not even cutting the, the gooey stuff. Fold it over, stick it right there, and bring back the, the door panel. Check this out. This is actually better than, cleaner than the passenger side. For some reason the passenger side was, it had actual kind of sort of mud on the bottom, it was still wet. And I was so glad to clean that out because, you know, and it's, it's not rusted, that's amazing. It was kind of wettish, moist mud or maybe muddy dust. All right, so we're going to clean that out. It's not too bad, but we're going to clean that out and, you know, do the same. You know, when it rains, some of the water gets through the window seals and goes inside the door and drains out. That's what these are for, these drain holes. And on the other side, these drain holes were nearly plugged up. Okay guys, we have sprayed the stuff on the inside. Let me quickly show you. Mm-hmm. Make sure it's leaking out. Then you know it's all covered. One more drain hole here. I also replaced the window seal, there's going to be another video on that. Okay, now we're going to just, you know, just basically do the same process, just a different door. Okay, so we got a situation, wax work, but the auto option doesn't. Alright guys, thanks to... Canadian gearhead Thanks, man This is no biggie because I disconnected the well the window all you got to do is Hold it go all the way up or down whatever, you know Hold it there for a little longer two seconds three seconds let go then go all the way down holding the button and Stay there for two seconds That's it. Let's see That's it! We are good! Screws! Alright guys, that's it for the doors. Obviously I got two more, well one more to go. And I'm gonna do the same to the rear hatch. Look, I replaced the hatch uh, gas struts. Look at it go on its own. Mm -hmm. Before it would stop right about here. Annoying. Nice. And these are from Rock Auto by FCS Auto 86107. Blah blah blah. Both sides. Got some tires. And let me show you what I have found inside the hatch. Look, are you seeing this? You probably are not, but... I mean, there's just, you know, stuff coming out. Yeah, so sometime in the future, the hatch, and I still gotta take the front bumper off and paint the, the bumper beam, you know, the, the front frame and stuff like that. All right, update soon.